they was two of them that had a standing need uh, in the mail. And I brought them here, and I then turned those two letters over to Dr. Fisher, our superintendent. And the next speaker is Kenyatta Holmes. Did I say that right? <coughs> I'm not a speaker either, so. but um, I am uh, a
last time this week. I'm writing, I'm writing to you to express my concern about not all students being given equal opportunity when it comes to the baseball program at Crest High School. Returning Crest High School baseball players are given the opportunity, or it's strongly suggested, to take a PE baseball workout class during the school day. Freshmen haven't been included because they were not previously on their Crest High team. This year, a handful of freshmen have been pulled from the scheduled PE class uh, to participate in the baseball workout class. This class is not equally available for all freshmen to compete in, ultimately giving unfair advantages to a select few students. I write this to you specifically because I trust your ability to handle the matter. Too many times I've heard of coaches bullying students and parents not to express concerns or it would negatively affect the students' participation of it, which is why I'm not addressing this with administration or staff at Crest High School. I trust you to do what's best for our students and see that they are all given the same opportunities. Thank you for your time. What was the second letter that the chance to make? And they wanted to read it here tonight.
it travels over into the band. I'm the I'm the band booster club president. Last year, this year, next year, my husband is the treasurer. It's in the band. It's throughout the entire school. And you know what it is, I don't know, but I know one thing that there are a lot of people who are discussing things on Facebook, on social media, and everything like that, talking about how crappy Burns is, to be quite honest, and what, and it's just making us all look even worse, <coughs> you know? so don't, don't take it and put it on social media, even if you have issues with the administration, if you have issues with coaching, if you have issues with teachers, whatever, don't take it to the social media, because everybody is, they're, they're reading on this, and we just look worse and worse and worse up here at Barnes. You know, people already think that we're the redneck hillbillies up here. No offense. I mean, I'm one of us. But, you know, the, you know, all the, the money in Shelby and Crest,
Because I speak to you as an educator at Burns High School, as well as an alumni and a future parent of a bulldog. My child started at Boston this year, so I speak to the whole entire zone. We need help in our county. And I am here, as I sat here tonight, I'm listening to all the things that all of you are saying, and I'm begging you, if you want to make a difference, come to that high school. Go to those elementary schools and make a difference in a kid's life. I left a career in banking after nine years to teach. I make half of the salary that I made as a banker. I chose this profession because my goal is to make a difference in your kid's life. Mm -hmm. And I am doing that. And there are some of you in this room that I have taught your children. I am teaching your children or I will teach your children. And I will let you know, I do not back down. I give them tons of work. They get tired of seeing me. But we have so much fun. And if you want to support anything, you come up there on Friday night. There's a white cavalier that was donated to us by a business in Shelby. <laughs> And it is sprayed all up. And my kids have worked hard. And it's not just a fundraiser. It's not just this. It's not just that. My kids are studying what makes people purchase. What makes people buy. Does price matter over quantity? And I'm not going to talk to you about it because Bruce is tired of hearing it. But let me tell you this right now. We do great things at Burns High School. We do great things. Things. And if you want to make a difference, you need to come and be a mentor because I have students that need you in their lives. You come and go to Boston and be a lunch buddy because those nine years that I was at BBNT, I volunteered with communities and schools. And I sat at East Elementary in Kings Mountain and ate lunch with a child who had nobody but me to camp on. And our kids need that in their life. And I didn't come up here. I hope I don't get fired because Lord knows I need my job. I have two children. But I'm going to say this. If you want to make a difference, it starts with us. It starts with us. And I have made that difference. I have been there the last three Fridays along with about four other teachers collecting football jerseys because our staff wants to support the children there. I spend countless hours working on making sure every kid is taken care of. Support our schools. I'm not asking for your money. Nobody has any money. The recession did all away with all that in 2008, but everybody in here has time. You can make a difference. Thank you. <laughs>
concern and you have a responsibility to do your part. And God, again, I'm, not, I'm just a messenger and I don't want to sit on any toes. I'll tell anybody this, but, you know, don't complain if you can't do something about it. You know, come on and participate. You might not be the, the person standing up and saying that, but if somebody's speaking on your behalf, they ought to have 10 or 12 people there behind them, if not 50. That's what's going to get noticed at the board. Is that that's a fair answer? All right. Are there any before I let these two go? Yes, sir. I like to say, <clears throat> if you can't get to the meeting, yes. go to ccnconline.com. Now, if you get a chance, go there when you get home tonight. There's a video of the meeting last night. Sorry, guys, you need to see this. That will be. It speaks to some of the problems that were talked about tonight. And if that don't get you fired up to get to the meeting, you know, I challenge you to come help us out. For, uh, this is Hal Trammell. He does have uh, a couple of websites, and he's uh, very diligent to show up in a lot of the meetings. There's so school board meetings, county commissioner meetings. I don't know if you go to Shelby City Council or not, but he does videotape a lot of our uh, governmental meetings, puts those online so you can see that. Again, it's not as good as being there. I recommend you go, but that will help you stay informed of what's going on. Robert, uh, repeat that. Well, as Al repeat it, the website. CCNConline.com. CCNConline.com. Cleveland County, North Carolina Online. Exactly. Y'all want an odd man or flip the corn or something? I got the dinner. What are you talking about? Uh, I guess I'm going to go for it. I got to get my microphone while they can hear me. I want to thank everybody for being here tonight because I am that concerned board member of all you people. And up for Cleveland is just as important. It's sad to me. Maybe a little more. I used to live in that place. I lived with crazy Bob Melton for about uh, <laughs> several years. But I want to thank everybody. And my number, my number one goal is North Shelby School. If everybody would go by that school one time, it's been 10 minutes, you'll see why my heart is on North Shelby School. Every one of them kids has to walk out in that rain. Every day it rains to get to their classroom or go to the gym to eat. They don't even have a cafeteria. So please forgive me for number one is North Shelby School in my book. Number two is that oratory and a swimming pool. <laughs> Be fair. I'm tired of this buddy 
Buddy, buddy, buddy. You hire the person that is qualified for the job. You don't hire a friend. Amen. As simple as that. Whether it's a coach, whether it's an English teacher, and I need English, and I need math, but I love vocation. I want our vocational departments in all schools to do the best of their ability. That thing is fixing to go off the shore of the world, and I'm not free. Uh, I want our vocations at all four high schools at the top, because everybody is not college material. Somebody's got to keep growing green beans. Somebody's got to keep growing green beans. Somebody's got to keep growing And everything like that. Everybody cannot, cannot operate a computer. Because if we all go to computers, who's going to feed us? The rich man is what makes us. So we have to count on that rich man, you know, like Mr. Norman. You know? <laughs>
So most everybody's up here, so I hear about it every single day. One thing that I promise to do is stand true and stand firm on what I believe in, whether I'm like or dislike. I'm not trying to politicize anything. Uh, I'm not trying to get reelected. But one thing I am sure about, I'm there to serve. Ladies and gentlemen, I promise you that I want to hear your concern. I want to hear everything you got to say. But at the end of the day, we may disagree. Me and this guy disagree a lot. Um, you know, but at the same day, we can we can disagree without being disagreeing. We can work together and come together to make things right. I want to make a challenge, a personal challenge. If we want change at Burns High School, if we want to put the bark back in the bulldog, if we want to put the bite back in what we do, ladies and gentlemen, we got to get to the school like she said and be a mentor to a child, be present on the school campus. And it may sound like I'm singing a little choir song, but until we get boots on the ground where they need to be, change is not going to happen. I'm the mentor coordinator for communities and schools. I promise I'll sign you up. I will take you into Burns High School. I will train you right there at Burns High School. I will match you up with the kids at Burns High School. But it's time out, and don't, don't take me the wrong way. It's time out for just talking about it. Because I hear that every day. You know, people call me and they fuss. Donnie, fire this guy. Fire that guy. Fire this guy. That's not what it's about. It's about doing what's right and making our community what we want it to be. I'm not just going to go in and trust this and fire somebody just because somebody wants me to fire them. I'm not even going to push for that. Because, you know, everybody deserves due process, right? Because I know a lot of people right now will tell you a lot of lies about me. But get to know who I am first and get to know where I stand. But ladies and gentlemen, if we want to see change, it comes right now with this. And if a group like this comes into Burns High School, and I will tell you this, when Burns plays in a couple weeks, I'm a press grad, but I'll be speaking to the Burns football game. They asked me to come and speak to them, and I'm going to speak with pride. Because you know what? I graduated from press, but at the end of the day, I don't care where, my, you know, where I was. Who, Ms. Riker, you showed that map earlier. I can guarantee you this. I will not just do things for Chris High School. I, I, 2001, I graduated from Chris. But guess what? I will support Burns, Kings Mountain, Shelby, every single school, every single student, because that's what it's all about. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate y'all coming here tonight. Um, I had a church event that was canceled. And I'm so glad that I got to be here. And I promise I'm an emotional mention every time where I almost shed some tears. Whenever I heard some stories about what you said over there, um, when you got up and said you're proud. Um, but I also felt a challenge. Everything ain't always pretty about the school system. And I'm not going to sit up here and pull the wool over my eyes. When you got over 2,000 employees, you got some bad things that happen. When you got over 15,000 students, everybody ain't going to like what's going on in the school. So I'm not going to sit up here and you'll stop it. I promise I'll be done. <laughs> Out of all those people, there are going to be some bad things that happen. But I'm not just going to sit up there and say, you know what? Kumbaya, everything's good. When bad things happen, we will address it. And we will do our best to make it right. But I will not just go at every whim just because somebody says it's wrong. I want everybody to work together. And at the end of the day, we've got to put our money where our mouth is. I've been in schools every single day. And they don't always write about that on the website. It's right, but you need to write about that sometimes. <laughs> Every single day, I've been at schools mentoring kids, busting my butt to support our teachers. And guess what? We can't do it by ourselves. But if I take a group like this in there, bet you by God it won't make a difference in our schools. Thank you so much for the opportunity. <laughs>
into the woods. The only chance I get to get on the website is when I'm at work. You know, and I, I'm a nurse. I don't have a lot of time to sit on the phone trying to chase teachers down. I've called guidance counselors to ask questions about the procedure for SATs and what should be. I've never sent my child to college. He's the only one I have. But I've tried to reach out and, and contact a guidance counselor. That was on Wednesday last week. I still don't have a return phone call. So I've tried the telephone, I've tried email, and, and discovered by putting a read receipt on my second email that was very fired up, and it came back undeliverable, and that's when I discovered the web things were wrong. And somebody said, well, Will Beaver took care of a lot of that. I love Will. I went to school with him my whole life. But the world can't stop because one person goes away. And I feel like that makes us look bad, too. If my son... And my son's very honest with me, and I put this in my email, that there was some behavior on behalf of some of the staff, paid professionals, that I felt like was less than professional and almost in a bullying tone, which I didn't take the bullying word in my email, but I feel like we've got to be better about, if we want the parents, you're talking about getting on the website for the school board, I don't and, and you know, if you, if you, I used to be told to get on the website about the homework assignments. You know, I would go on the website and the homework assignments wouldn't be updated for two weeks. You know, and I understand saving the paper, don't kill the trees and all that. But it, and I'm sure it's time consuming, but we ought to hire somebody to do that or something because there's no other way to communicate. And I was really mad to the point where I wanted to drive to the school and make a scene. <laughs> uh, I just want to know whose job I, it is. I assume you're talking about the Burns website. Or yes. Uh, I do not know who handles the Burns website, but there is an IT department at Central Services. Uh, now, what I recommend to anybody is a fire chain house on Well, I said uh, it to the lady on the phone here. Well, like, what, the what I will do is, is go through the steps. If you're not getting a response from the individual yeah. teacher or guidance counselor, then call the principal. If well, he doesn't, I copied the principal and one of the assistants on my email with the correct addresses. And if you don't I get, get a response there, response. then you're going to have to, I would go to the superintendent at that point. Yeah. Or call a board member and let them, uh, you know, that's one of those due process things. You know, you do want to give somebody a chance to do the right thing. And, uh, but kind of go through those steps. It may take some time, but uh, if you're not getting a response, Call these guys and they can do it. I'll give them my You're about to run out here. Dale Blanton. LabelCountySchool.com. You send me an email. You'll get a response. You will get a response. I will say this. As of today, it is being updated. It has been a slow process. I feel your frustration. I am an educator who spent a lot of time building a website. I will. It cannot be seen. Give it to the person that it's, needs to be given to. If I'm you got that response. Sorry, I can't see here. I will vouch for you. This is not a good I'll ask you if you want to do it. Yes, sir. Give me a five. I've got a uh, kindergarten uh, student and a fourth grader, and I just wanted to address a couple of things. First of all, that's cool. <laughs> uh, first of all, uh, I don't think Nelson Royster, who should have spoken first, but he backed out. I did speak. <laughs> if it wasn't for Nelson, I wouldn't have known about this movie. I agree. So I, I talked to Dad at the beginning of about how, how we find out these, these things. If Nelson would have posted four or five days ago, whatever it was, we would have known. Um, so thank you for that. But you know, they talked earlier about 2,000 employees in the, in the school system and 15,000 students. That's a lot. What I've heard tonight, and especially in the anonymous letters, are a lot of complaints versus a lot of the good things that happen. There's a lot of teachers that are here tonight that are good teachers, good people, good school board members. But I challenge you with this. 2,000 students, how many are in the burn zone? 800 students at the high school or so, we've got Faustin, Taser,
part of you and how that's all split up now. Well, we have 60 people here. If, if this, if this, this should be a challenge more than anything else. So the 60 or so people that are here really care. But what's 10,000 that could be here? And nobody's here. So I challenge you to talk to your neighbors, talk to the friends of your uh, students, parents, and all those things. Get everybody here. Get them involved in the school board. Uh, you know, thank you to the teachers that are here tonight. I saw Alex come in earlier, and um, Mr. Martin's here. I like what he had to say, and Amanda, I don't remember your last name, and Ms. Riker, everybody that spoke, thank you very much. Um, I think the school board members probably have a very thankless job in the grand scheme of things. Everybody wants to complain and tell them how bad they're doing, and, and everybody needs to be fired. And, you know, I don't know Chris Bryant at the high school. I know a lot of people have issues with him for whatever reason. But uh, Danny touched on it earlier is that he's following the policy. If you don't like the policy, go to the school board. Talk to them about changing it. If he's not following the policy, then that's something different. And that's what needs to be brought to the proper people. But to go on social media and to sit around and complain about it isn't going to solve anything. Come up with possible solutions. Work together to make this happen. And let's make the burn zone what it should be and what it could be. Thanks. Would you read the door again? Yeah, it's Tom Minowitz. Spell how you like. M I N O W I C Z. Yeah, I'm from Texas. I do lots of different things. I mean, I just, I 
me, whatever I can do to help, I will help. I'm not always available to tutor, go to the school. I travel for a living. I'm not home very much um, because I'm in the healthcare industry, so I'm not home as often. If I had more time, I, I would love to, to do that. But um, it all starts, and it does start at home too. You know, we need to teach our, our children. You know, you're going to make a lot of choices in life. But what we want you to do is we want you to make the right choices. Because if you don't make the right choices, then you need to deal with the consequences that are going to come along.